So today we're going to talk about my favorite trail shoe. A lot of people use Ultras, a lot of people use Topos, Solomons, Merrells. There's tons of hiking shoes, but uh, my favorite are sandals. So a lot of people ask why I hike in sandals instead of a thicker millimeter or a three millimeter or just a five millimeter stack height. So a lot of people use the uh, ultra superior, so that's what I came from. And everybody likes the Lone Peaks and a few of the guys that are into the Topos because they have a little bit more rigidity and support in the, I guess the forefoot. But I've always won barefoot shoes. I've always liked a thinner sole, more contact with the ground. And there was a lot of shoe companies to pick from at the time. And I uh, knew I wanted to try a sandal. I have to uh, thank Evans Backpacking. He has a YouTube channel. I'll put a link right here for you. Where he did the AT and sandals. I think he did them in the Luna, Luna sandals or Bedrock sandals. But those look too thick for me. I kind of like something really thin. If anybody's ever tried Vibram Five Fingers, they're nice. But if you step on anything like a slick rock or say you just happen to be stepping on loose down trees your foot just slides right across that and uh, you could fall and falling sucks i kind of decided to try out these zero naboso sandals they're the trail sandals they got these little pyramids that come in contact with your feet and the theory behind that is is when you take your sandals off i think it's supposed to train your feet to be more tactile almost it uh kind of hits all the pressure points on the bottom of your foot, the sole of your foot, the heel of your foot, and you just create more strength with your feet. And I don't like wearing shoes at all. My feet sweat like a dog and I don't like to be sweaty or stinky. Funny enough, as I hike, I think there were 110, 105 after tax, which is a lot for sandals, but the amount of miles I've put on them and the type of hiking I do, for me personally, I'm not saying this for everybody because to date, these are my favorite hiking shoes unless you want to call them sandals and i feel they are way more comfortable than anything else that i've worn now taking into consideration certain trails if it's very very cold out like the trip i just had with trailheads hammocks so try it out the ultra temp 1.5s and those are both a lot more stable a lot thicker as far as the sole goes which a lot of people would really appeal to and I decided that those weren't for me because I like a little bit more connection with the ground, splaying your toes out, getting a lot more flexibility in your feet. And overall, to me, that's just a little bit more comfortable. Now, just like everybody has a different body shape, everybody's going to have a different foot shape, just like everybody has a different diet nowadays. And it seems to be, for me personally, that I'm going to highly recommend using these shoes. If you're in the market for a pair of shoes and if you are okay with beating your feet up, I would always recommend trying Zero out. There are some other companies, Bedrock, Luna, Deliberately Light is another company I'm taking a look at because they have a similar design. But for right now, the Naboso Trail seems to be my favorite shoe. And if you look at them, got them with the Njinji socks on which these are the new wool and gingy socks. And I haven't had any issues with these either. I know that I have torn a bunch of the original weight black and gingies. My toenails always bust through, but currently no issues at all. Some people would say wearing toe socks while wearing sandals is a bit goofy, but hey man, if you walk through a creek crossing, it's just gonna be comfortable. It's going to be 100% comfortable. It's going to dry out really fast compared to most. And if you look at Miyagi on the trail in Jeremiah's video, you'll see me trotting in a rainstorm wearing these sandals. And to me, it's the most comfortable shoe. So I'm going to highly recommend them. 
And other than that, I guess uh, you could like, you could subscribe, but you should definitely check out my Instagram. My Instagram is way better than my YouTube. But we're learning. So I wanted to get an up close comparison of these little pyramids that you see down here. And there's the Naboso tag right there. Apparently they also make yoga mats and other type of mats. And these little pyramids are supposed to give you a stimulation on the bottom of your feet that is supposed to make it a little bit more tactile. But as you can tell from hiking, I have knocked down a few of these. Let me get it to focus. And I have kind of destroyed some of the outer edges of them. And as for the soles, I have really eaten up the soles right around here. Not too much here, not too, too much here, but a little bit right here, kind of where the big toe is. But I don't have much tripping or slippage on them, so there shouldn't be massive, massive damage up here. As you can see, my toes have created an indentation, so you can see the natural kind of outline of my feet in here, kind of how it dips with the arch of my foot right in the middle here. But overall, for sandal hiking, they're not terrible. I don't know. I don't think there's a lot of good videos on these online, so I wanted to take the time to kind of show what happens after a good long trail hike with them are. I know a lot of people wear them around town, but I stay on the trail. That's just what I'm used to.